Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. In this one, I've got some budget weapon builds for you that are based around barter trades from various different traders that let you set up decent builds without paying full price for all the parts. There are a ton of different barter trades for weapons in Escape from Tarkov, and in this video I'll be focusing on some of the more budget friendly options. I'll also be following this up with a video covering more top tier expensive barter trades for weapons, but this one is focused on budget friendly options. I've tried to focus mostly on things that can be put together with level 2 traders as well, and most of these builds can be made around level 10 to 20. I've also ordered the builds starting from the cheapest and going up to the most expensive build at the end of the video. So with that intro out of the way, let's take a look at the first build I've got for you, with a pretty cost effective SKS trade from Mechanic Level 2. The SKS has been in Tarkov as long as I can remember, and despite very mixed opinions about how useful it may or may not be, it's definitely an early game staple weapon and can be upgraded to stay useful into the mid game. It's not the most effective weapon in all situations, but it can use 762 PS ammo which is one of the better cheap options in the early game, and it's not too hard to craft or buy small amounts of the top tier BP ammo to make it effective against armor. This build is a pretty bare bones setup, but it's also pretty dirt cheap thanks to the barter trade at mechanic level 2, which just requires one GP coin and a screwdriver in exchange for an SKS with an upgraded stock and handguard. The trade for this one only totals around 30,000 rubles if bought on the flea market, and both items are fairly common to find if you check safes and toolboxes. For this build, all I did was change the stock and add a few simple upgrades that are pretty easily available to you if you have level 2 traders unlocked. First up, you can buy the weapon tuning SKS thread adapter at Jaeger level 2 for dirt cheap, which allows you to put certain muzzle devices onto the SKS. For this one, I just went with the DTK1 compensator from Skier level 2, which is also quite cheap and helps out with the recoil on the SKS. You can also check the flea market for something like the Hexagon SKS suppressor or the DTK4M suppressor if you want to run quiet, but that's going to add about 25,000 to the build cost. Next up, the Tapco stock comes with two mounts on it, one for a grip or laser and another for a sight. You can choose to use a laser instead, but on this build I went with a foregrip to improve recoil and ergonomics, the Zenit RK4 which is sold by Skier Level 2. For the sight, you can choose whatever you like best, but I went with the P1X42, purchased on the flea market for about 15,000 rubles. Finally, the last addition I made to this build is a new stock, the LMT Sop Mod stock from Mechanic Level 2. This one is a slight upgrade from the basic M4 stock, and it's also pretty cheap. If you have Peacekeeper Level 3 unlocked, which you can get at this level if you have his quest completed, you you could also swap this for the MFT BUS stock and get much better recoil. Any upgraded SKS build is going to need detachable mags as well, so make sure to pick up a few 20 rounders from Peacekeeper level 2. For the overall stats on this build, you're looking at 93 recoil and around 69 ergonomics when fully loaded. It's not the best for rapid fire, but if you pick your shots well, the SKS is a trusty companion out there in Tarkov. For the overall cost on this one, you're looking at around 55 to 60,000 rubles total, sometimes less if the flea market price on the trade items is better. I think it's a fair price to pay for a simple semi-auto rifle, and you pretty much always get this one back from insurance. Next up for this video, I've got a build that I've been using for a long time, but never really shared because before patch 12.6 and the 9mm ammo buff, a lot of these SMGs were borderline not worth using once people had even basic armor. However, after the 9mm ammo buff, I've been absolutely loving SMG gameplay, and I feel like they actually have a real place in the competition now. You can also craft the second best ammo type, AP 6.3, in the hideout at the level 2 workbench, which is the main ammo type that I've been using in the MPX to great success. For this build, it's based around a barter trade at Peacekeeper level 2, which gets you an MPX in exchange for 7 dog tags of level 8 or higher. This is my favorite use for random low level dog tags at the start of the wipe or from new players later on. Be careful you don't use more valuable dog tags here, but it's a good deal for the level 8 to 15 dog tags. Once you get the MPX, the first thing I do is check the flea market for the Rotor 43 9x19 suppressor, which is usually only 10 to 12,000 rubles and is one of the cheapest suppressors in the game, which is perfect for an SMG build. 
Next, the MPX handguard comes with rails for attachments by default, and I add the Zenit RK4 grip from Skier Level 2 for a bit of extra recoil control and ergonomics. For the sight on this one, again, you can use whatever you prefer, but I just went with an EOTech hollow sight for about 15,000 rubles on the flea market because it's my preferred sight for close range fights. And really, that pretty much covers the entire build, though if you have Peacekeeper Level 3 unlocked, you can switch the stock out for the PMM ULSS stock, which is only about $60 and gets you really good recoil control for a cheap price. For the overall stats on this build, you're looking at 36 recoil and 52 ergonomics fully loaded, which is pretty solid stats for a suppressed build that requires almost no modding. The overall price on this setup is about 50 to 60,000 rubles total, but it's hard to put a price on the exact amount for the dog tag trade, considering they vary in price depending on their level. I figure it's worth the trade for any dog tags up to about level 15, though it all depends on how much you value those tags as well. Regardless, I really like this build for budget looting runs on interchange and budget PvP on factory, and it's definitely served me well. For this next build, I've got an ADAR setup you can put together once you reach level 2 traders that just sets out to put some basic upgrades onto the rifle to improve the stats a little bit without investing too much money. You can do a ton of modding to ADARs, even turning them into an M4 if you want, but I find they're almost a 100% insurance return if you just lightly mod them, and they work pretty well as a mid-range rifle against scavs and PMCs if you have some M856A1 or M855A1 ammo to run through them. To start off, the build is based off the ADAR trade for one rechargeable battery at skier level 1, which can be purchased for about 13,000 rubles on the market or found pretty easily in raid. Starting from the muzzle, the first upgrade I like to add is the PWS CQB 556 compensator, which is usually only about 8 to 10,000 rubles on the flea market and gives you some great recoil control. You'll also want to swap the front sight gas block out for the MK12 gas block at mechanic level 1 so you don't have any obstruction for your sights. For the handguard on this build, basically any of the Daniel Defense handguards will work, though the best option for stats is the 12-inch option. However, if you just type Daniel into the flea market search bar, you can choose whichever of the four handguards has the best price at the moment, generally around 10 to 15,000 rubles. The handguard has four rails for attachments, so you can easily add a foregrip to the build. And in this one, again I went with the Zenit RK foregrip because it's the best option at level 2 traders. Next, for the optic on this one, I went with an EOTech hollow sight again because it just looks right on an AR-15 and it's usually a decent price on the market. Finally, I like to replace the stock and pistol grip just to improve the looks of the build a little. For the stock, I went with the LMT SOP mod stock from Mechanic Level 2, which is pretty cheap and has some upgrades for the stats. For the pistol grip, I just got the basic AR-15 grip from Peacekeeper Level 1, which is only about $10 and won't set you back much. For the overall stats on this build, you're looking at 70 recoil and about 58 ergonomics fully loaded, which is not bad for a semi-auto rifle, and if you pace your shots well, it shoots pretty nice at medium range. For the total cost on this one, it's about 70,000 rubles total, possibly less if you get a good deal on any of the flea market items that I mentioned. It's not the cheapest ADAR build you can make, but I think it's solid for the price, and for 20k extra you can get the M4A1 receiver at mechanic level 2 and turn this into a full auto M4A1 if you so desire. The last build I have for this video is one of my favorite mid-game barter trades at mechanic level 3 and is the highest level requirement of all the builds in this video. However, it gets you a very solid AK build at a good price and the trade items are extremely easy to find in raid if you want to stockpile them. The trade I'm talking about requires 6 Marlboro cigarettes and 1 military cable in exchange for an AK-74M, modded out with a compensator, a railed handguard, a railed dust cover, the best in slot stock, and the best in slot pistol grip. The trade usually totals around 60,000 rubles if you buy it on the market, and is definitely the cheapest way to get an AK-74M with these attachments. Once you do the trade, all you need to do is add a foregrip and an optic, and you pretty much have a fully built AK-74 to use however you see fit. For the grip on this one, I opted for the Zenit RK-04 grip, which which is a slight upgrade over the RK4, but requires skier level 3, which you should have by the time you can make this trade. The optic is the same as the ADAR build, just an EOTech hollow sight off the flea market, though you can swap this for whatever your preferred sight is. Those two parts are seriously the only things you need to add to make this build work pretty well, though if you want to spend a little extra, you can add the PWS CQB compensator from skier level 3, which drops the recoil by about 6 points for 15,000 rubles. However, you can definitely make the build work with the basic DTK compensator already attached to the rifle. 
For the overall stats on this build, you're looking at 63 recoil and around 75 ergonomics when fully loaded, which I think is pretty solid considering how easy and relatively cheap this one is to build. For the total cost on this one, it's about 80,000 rubles including the cost of the barter trade on the flea market, though it can sometimes be significantly cheaper when the cigarettes and cable are going for a low price on the market. Plus, you can easily find all these trade items on reserve and just stockpile for the AK barter trade. It's not the best AK build you can make, but you can easily use it as is or simply use this as the base for an even more upgraded AK build to save yourself some cash. Well that about covers it for this video. There's still some barter trades on the budget end of things that I might look at in the future, but I also want to check out some barter trades that help set up endgame PvP builds in one of my next videos. In any case, I hope you found these builds helpful, and best of luck on your raids if you decide to try them for yourself. I'll be streaming more Escape from Tarkov on Twitch, and I have links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested. Thanks for checking out the video, feel free to leave any comments down below, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.